Daniel Ehrenreich. I'm from Israel. My activity is focusing on industrial control systems specifically because I came to this activity after over 20 years in the area of industrial control systems, water, energy, oil and gas. In my presentation, I explained how, business, how building uh, can be cyber secured. Because when we speak about a, a building, I'm speaking about the high-rise office building, you have always three areas with main areas that need to be protected. First of all, the upper floors where people are working, where the offices are. And over there you have cameras, you have doors, security, you have a wide range of solutions over there. Then you have the equipment which is installed outside. You can have a fuel tank, you can have an extra generator, you can have an additional chiller. All are installed outside the building, which means they are not so physically protected as something in the building. And finally, we are talking about the underground installations where you have all the utilities, the electric energy, water, sewage, UPS, generators, chillers, data centers, so we need wide range of technologies, intrusion detection system, uh, security information event management, SOC rooms, all these must work together in order to instantly identify the problem and instantly identify it's the real problem or it's the attack and of course making an instant decision on the right action, this is the main challenge. Why 2010? was the year where industrial control uh, security started. The re of course, the, this was the year of the Stuxnet attack. Until that event, industrial control people, the, manage the people who are managing the operation, the managing the safety and reliability, they could say, we are air gap, we are isolated from the internet, and therefore we are safe. Fact that it was done internally, this changed the whole uh, perception. So management in these organizations come to the ICS people and told them, hey, your idea of not dealing with cybersecurity is not so correct. Because of that, systems, the IT and the ICS started to be connected. Of course, not directly, of course, carefully, securely, and practically this was the year where the unidirectional di uh, diode, the gateway, started to be very popular. On one hand, protecting the ICS, on the other hand, not allowing that anyone can send faulty instructions from the IT network to the OT because the IT network is connected to the internet. So there is a built-in vulnerability in the organization because the IT because the IT, IT is always connected to the worldwide internet and it's not so secure. For IT systems, you always care about confidential integrity availability. This is what, what is guiding the cybersecurity people assure business continuity, confidential integrity and availability. When we speak about industrial control systems, the goals are different. Confidentiality is not so important. You, no one cares if the pressure in the pipe is 5% higher or lower. That's not important. What, is, what we care about is always number one, safety. Number two, reliability and number three, productivity, which is equal to business continuity. I do believe that regulation, which is happening in all countries, uh, will convince management to go a step forward and, uh, and uh, pay, at pay attention to that. Today, you don't even have a regulation that the organization which was hit by cyber attack is obliged to report and you know that, that every manager will be highly interested to hide the fact that his organization was under attack. But it's going to change, and I believe regulation will require that every attack will be reported. We already have a cybersecurity guideline in Hebrew, the local language, which people can read 
it's nicely written. Now we are uh, now the cyber, uh, the national cyber uh, director, uh, directorate, which is a strong government organization, is already pushing to introduce methodology for cyber defense. The guidelines which are being introduced by the by the water authority, by the electricity authority, by manufacturing uh, organizations, the guidelines which are being introduced are will definitely convince people. First of all is the internal knowledge. Either people have, have industrial control experience or they have or some other people have cyber a cyber security experience the number of people who combine this exp, this both experiences together which is necessary necessary to make the decision it's not it's not available the second is the management awareness finally ever it's the major action no one can come in the morning and say, well, I'm going to upgrade my power plant. No, it should be a management decision and the management should say, okay, next week, next month, we are going to do that, do all the preparation. And the third major problem is that these systems are working 27, uh, 24 hours, seven days around the clock and you cannot stop it. Now, this is not a minor upgrade. Let's up, let's do a download and a driver and five minutes and we are back to work. No, it takes time. So these are the three things: availability of the availability of uh, uh, outage period, management, attention, and expertise of people.